need to burp. <coughs> yeah! Hey guys, it's DK here again today and welcome back to my channel. I saw what the fuck Waverly uploaded a video on her channel with called seven tips for exams or something and I got inspired to add my own little twist onto it. Next week there will be a let's talk about a le about let's talk about a le about a let's talk about. Yeah. But anyway, I will go on to my exam tips now as I have a I actually do need to revise for an exam. That's kind of ironic. One. You will not remember everything, right? You can't, you don't have the superpower, some people do, to just remember everything that you read. Because actually, if you revise by reading, then you only take in 10% of that knowledge. Number two, don't let it all get to your head. You can still have fun when these exams going on. Like, I know it's pretty hard to ha kind of have, have fun while you're revising, but you can still do it. You can listen to music while you're doing it. You can do it really, like, energetically. You can do it while doing exercise. You can make revision fun. Don't just be a boring old sappy little shit when it comes to exams, like, I need to revise, I need to revise. Because it's so important to balance work and play, otherwise your mind just has a brain fart and explodes. Pretty accurate. Number three, don't cram or studying slash revision at the last minute. Because you're not going to get every single thing you need to learn if the exam's the next day, or the ne even just the next day, or the next next day, like, you know, tomorrow, tomorrow. You won't cram everything in you need to know if the exam's tomorrow or the even if the exam's the day afterwards it just won't get on your brain you need to burp <coughs> yeah number four don't worry about what other people are slash aren't doing say if your friend is not revising that much don't worry about them care about you and that sounds so selfish but just think of it this way you have so many friends in school. I know it doesn't seem like it now if you're kind of younger and you feel like you're alone. By the time you get to the exam point, you will have a lot of friends. I know that everyone in my youth group is classed as my friend. Like, I can talk to anybody in my youth group and not really feel uncomfortable or feel like I can't share my, my ideas in front of them. But I feel like our year group is very close and even that is so nice to have, but as soon as we leave school, that will all just couple on because none of us are going to be able to see each other because it'll be easier now than it was back in like my mom's or grandma's day because we have social media now and we can exchange numbers and exchange like facebook friends and stuff but just that doesn't mean they're going to keep on contact with you just because they give you a phone number and they might never ever call you back like the guy me and me and uh chloe and an amigo said he's following me on or follow me on friend me on snapchat and he never has it's been like a fucking week dude come on hit me up already seriously don't worry about other people are, aren't doing, just worry about you because that's all that matters when you leave school because you're probably never going to see them again. So if you worry about their education more than you, your own, you're not going to end up with the best grades and they might end up with a better grade than you. So just don't worry about what the people are doing or even that are doing. Five, people learn in completely different ways and that's totally normal. Some people learn by their, me their like memory, their phot photographic memory and I'm fucking jealous of you because I can't do that. I have a few friends that are like that. Bree's like that, Dale's like that, and everybody that I kind of know are like that. And they've all got like A stars and A's. I'm just like, what's two plus two? 49. <laughs> oh, that's not the answer. But they're just like, oh, the circumference of the circle that we have here is 300. Actually, that's kind of accurate. Wait, what is a circumference? I'm fucked. Some people learn by that. Some people learn by listening, which that's what I do. I listen to other people saying it and then it like triggers me if I see this was this is my experience right? once in my exam I was sat there like what the frick does this mean like it was like Protagoras or whatever what's a Protagoras of seven and then as soon as I looked at the word again I heard my math teacher tell me what it means I don't know what the hell that was it was just my brain the way it learns is by listening and recording audio my works like a microphone let's just say that or some headphones which is why I like music so much is I can do that by listening and by that replaying in my head and reminding me of what it means. That was a, just a, a rant there, but it's kind of relevant. People learn in different ways, which learns on to my next point. Leans on to my next point. Six, start earlier so that you know how you learn and you can get it right on the head. I didn't really realize that I learned by listening and audio than until like a month ago, because I had no idea what I was doing. So as soon as I figured out that I learn by listening, not doing and not watching, I listen, I listen by listening. No shit, Sherlock, you can tell you ain't a physicist. Phys 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 huh? Start early so you know 
what how you've learned because if you start learning that way and it helps you then you'll be able to do it sooner rather than later that's what I was trying to say. Get as many textbooks as you can. I know that my school offers textbooks that you can pay for a certain amount of, pr amount of pound price. Bleh! Hee hee, ho ho. Ah, and far. Ooh, me IBS is not working very well with this Coca Cola. Boop! My school offers like these book things, like. These book things. My school. <laughs> my school offers things like books that you can buy and um, their workbooks or revision guides you can buy either of them I was going to buy a maths one but I never really got around to it 8 is put your favourite chocolate slash sweets in your book this sounds stupid and kid like but swear this works put, I put gummy bears because they're fave so every time I get a question right or I do something right or remember something right I have a gummy bear makes me feel better for myself alright I eat Comfort eat and I revise. Put them together and you get comfort revise. Said nobody ever. Anyway, if you like this video, please give it a massive thumbs up and if it helped you, then great. If you have any more tips that I've missed out, then comment them down below. Make sure you have a little discussion in the comments. I will see you next week for another video. Bye! I haven't done that in ages. Oh my god! Just don't mind me down here. Ah! Whew. Hey, the Mio is hot in here. Oh, I'm going to finish the video whether it kills me or not if I die of IBS.